this video we're going to install the servo back into the car and we're going to also refill the shocks. So first off we'll flip the car over and remove these servo blocks which hold on the servo. Now we'll move on to filling up the shocks. This is how you remove all the parts. It just easily pulls out, the spring comes off. And just unscrew the top. This is the one which is actually leaking, so this actually hasn't got any shock oil left in it at all. It's completely dry. For this to go into here, I actually need to remove this bit at the bottom. This pulls out. You may not need to do this if you've got holes drilled out big enough. But mine are too small. And just screw the top back on. Push plunger up about halfway and tighten it up. That should force all the excess oil at the top. Just wipe that off. And Test it. If you get a bit of rebound, that's perfect. You know you filled it up properly. And put it back together. Just put that on there. I'll pull the plunger out. Put that on there. Compress the spring. Put that back on. Push your little doodah back in. That's all done. Need to do the same to the rest. <clears throat> so with the shocks all now put back together, I can install two back on the front, but I can't put the two back on the rear yet because I haven't got the diff in, and also because I want to do brushless, I'm not putting it back in yet. So we'll just put the two front ones back on. done so in the next video what we'll do is we'll do the brushless conversion okay thanks for watching <laughs>